Hey everyone, back with a new video, finally got my screen recorder working again. So today I'm going to show you how to bring part of an image into the foreground while blurring out the background. And this is really, really simple and it's really effective to pointing the focus of your image to your audience. So I have this beautiful picture of a city, I'm not sure where this is, nevertheless it's beautiful. And what I want to do with this is I want to blur out the sky but I want to keep the city line or skyline in focus and I think it'll make a really cool effect. So what we need to do is use the pen tool and we're going to trace what we want to keep in our foreground. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. As you can see, I have my foreground traced. I traced around every small little detail of the skyline and I made sure to connect the pen points over here around the image back to the beginning to make sure this end point connects with this end point or the beginning point and you'll see why in a second what we need to do is select this path that we created in our path dialog and we need to right click it and select path to selection so now we have this complete skyline selected. So if I get rid of these lines, you can see that it's completely selected as well as down here, but not where the sky is. So if we go back to our image, we need to cut this out and blur this. So we want to go up to edit, cut, and go up to select none. So now we can work on blurring the sky before we paste back our foreground. So we want to make sure that we have the image layer selected, go up to filters, blur, down to Gaussian blur. I set this to 15 to get a really nice blur and also to show you the effect. So I'm going to click OK. And we have successfully blurred our sky. So now we want to create a new layer by going down here in the histogram Hit new layer, OK. We want to go up to edit, paste. And with this floating selection, we want to go down here, click it, and it will create a new layer with the foreground image on it. So now we want to drag this down and put it into place where it originally was. So I'm going to zoom in and make sure there are no gaps on the sides. Looks very nice. As you can see, we have some transparency in here that we are going to fix. So if I zoom out, I'm going to take a new layer. If you don't have a third layer, just go down and create a new layer. And in this layer, I'm going to use the bucket tool and place white in the background. And go to select. Don't even have to do that. So now you can see we have this really cool effect of white in the background and it brings this foreground image even more forward. I hope you enjoyed this easy tutorial. Please comment, like, and subscribe and if you have any questions you know where to leave them.